Hi guys, um, today we are going to do our HPLC lab to analyze some caffeine. I have some pure caffeine that we're going to run through first and then we're going to try out some Diet Pepsi and see where our caffeine peak lies within that drink. Before we get there though, I want to show you a little bit of what's happening behind the scenes. So in our HPLC over here, it stands for high pressure liquid chromatography. We have our injection port. So this is where we're gonna take our syringe and enter our sample into the column. Um, the magic kind of happens here. We have our column and in that column we have what we call a stationary phase, which is the phase you guys read about in your pre-lab um, that stays tuned to that column and lets things pass through it. The mobile phase is our 68% water and 30% methanol and that's gonna carry our sample through this column. That's our mobile phase. So now that you guys have seen this, I'm gonna go ahead and load up my sample. We'll run caffeine first and then we'll see our drink. So I have a microliter syringe here. It's really, really tiny amount of substance. Um, we're gonna get about 50 microliters for our sample today. I've already cleaned my syringe three times with my deionized water, so it's good and ready for me to use. So HPLC is a versatile analytical tool for chemists. It has a wide range of applications from the medical and cosmetic industries, as well as pharmaceuticals. It is mostly used for inorganic substances, as well as food substances like sugars, pro proteins, and most importantly for us today, caffeine. HPLC can provide information on compound purity, concentration, and polarity. How it does this is by pushing a mobile phase through a stationary column. As that mobile phase carries the molecules to a detector, um, the molecules reach that detector based on the interactions between the molecules themselves and the stationary phase. The time it takes for the molecules to re reach that detector is called the retention time and gives indication of what the molecules makeup is and its interactions with that stationary column. The more interactions the molecules have in the column, the longer it will take to reach the detector. So this gives indication of that polarity in the fact that likes interact with likes.